The processional is about to begin.
am Stacy Haney, and I am pleased to welcome you to the December 2023 commencement ceremony. Thank you for joining us today for this celebration. Audience, please rise as you are able and join Amanda Wilson, MSU Senior Vocal Performance Major, accompanied by the MSU Faculty Brass Quintet in the singing of our national anthem. to our quintet. You may be seated. This is a day of celebration. Yep. A day of rejoicing, a day for you to commence the next steps of your journey in this lifetime. And I am proud and privileged that I have the opportunity to share this day with you and your family and friends. Before we contemplate your commencement today, I want you to take a few seconds and I ask that you remember where it all began and who has been with you on this journey. For moms and dads of graduates in the audience today, as you are able, could you stand with me for a second? Yep, yep. Excellent. Other friends, other friends, brothers, sisters, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, wives, husbands, partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, sons, daughters, and others of the graduates, could you stand? Faculty and staff, up, honored guests. Up. All right, everybody. All right, the rest of you are clearly in the wrong place. Okay, I want those of you who have stood, I want you to think about the twists and turns in your graduate's journey. For moms and dads, I want you to remember the first day you dropped your graduate off for kindergarten and they cried as you walked away the first time they ducked in the car beside you so that no one saw that you were driving them, the first time they drove themselves to school, the day they drove off to MSU. For other family and friends, remember the joys, the angst, the anxiety, and the pride you have experienced due to these smiling faces on the Coliseum floor. And I want all of us to stand again and take a second to give a shout out to you. Okay, take a seat. 
Now for graduates, as you are able, if you could stand. Stand up, stand up. Now I want you to think about your mom and your dad and grandma and grandpa and friends and aunts and uncles and wives and husbands and partners and boyfriends and girlfriends and sons and daughters and other family, faculty and staff who supported you in this achievement. We do not reach these goals alone. And I want you to remember the anxieties of those GREs, the excitement when the acceptance letter arrived, the despair of the first payment you made to MSU, <laughs> the excitement of the last payment you made. Uh, and, and by the way, it will not be the last. Alumni Affairs will be calling soon and you should be giving back. The family who cheered you with your first successful endeavor, the friends who encouraged you, the professors who challenged you to think bigger, the staff who supported you along the way, and you take a minute and you thank them with a shout out. All right, you may be seated. I now invite Interim Provost Marcy Brown Marston. Sorry, she's no longer interim. We've updated this script. Marcy is now our permanent provost, thank you very much, to continue with our program. Leading the processional today was Dr. Beth Vallee, Professor of Radiological Sciences and Chair of the Shimadzu School of Radiological Sciences. Dr. Vallee has, holds the distinction of being one of the university's longest serving faculty members currently teaching at MSU. Thank you, Dr. Vallee. It's my pleasure to introduce the members of the platform party. I ask those being introduced to please stand as their names are called and remain standing until everyone has been introduced. Audience, please hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. On the first row to my left are Dr. Stacy Haney, University President, Dr. Shelley Sweat, member of the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents, and Dr. Tiffany Ziegler, Interim Dean of the Dr. Billy Doris Makeda Graduate School. To my right are Dr. Leanne Curry, Dean of the Gordon T. and Allen West School of Ed College of Education, and Dr. Jeff Stambaugh, Dean of the Dillard College of Business Administration. On the second row to my left are Ms. Zeta Kennedy, President of the Student Government Association, and Dr. Kimberly Onstott, President of the MSU Alumni Association and Pro Assistant Professor of Radiologic Science. To my right are Dr. Sarah Cobb, Interim Dean of the McCoy College of Science, Mathematics, and Engineering. Dr. Samuel Watson, Dean of the Prothero Yeager College of Humanities and Social Sciences. And Dr. Jennifer Anderson, Chair of the Respiratory Care Department, representing the Robert D. and Carol Gunn College of Health Sciences and Human Services. Could you please join me in recognizing these distinguished persons? <laughs> may be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Shelley Sweat, member of the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents, to bring congratulatory remarks from the system. Following Dr. Sweat, Ms. Kennedy, Dr. Onstott, and President Haney will offer congratulatory remarks. Regent Sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, proud moms and dads, family members and friends, faculty and staff, and most of all, distinguished graduates and members of the class of 2023. It is my distinct honor to represent the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System and to bring you greetings from the board at today's commencement. This great university, which celebrated its 100 year experience last year, existence, excuse me, last year, has literally grown up from Wichita Falls Junior College to four-year Hardin College, evolving into Midwestern University, followed thereafter by Midwestern State University, which is the only recognized public liberal arts university in Texas. 
As a vibrant institution of higher education, the university took another big step in September of 2021 when it grew yet again and became the fifth member institution of the Texas Tech University system, which is why I am here today. I had the previous honor of being a regent for MSU Texas and was on the board when the decision was made to join the Texas Tech University system. In many ways, it was a leap of faith but even over the short time of affiliation with the Texas Tech University system, it has truly been the best step forward for our university, allowing us to live up to our centennial year theme, Spirit Always Bold, which truly embodies the essence of the MSU student body and surrounding communities. Our passion and the legacy of this university in transforming so many lives is evident by the graduates and their families present today. I want to thank Dr. Stacy Haney for her leadership as our president, along with the amazing leadership team and the first class faculty and staff that enable MSU to be the leading educational institution in North Central Texas. Looking to the future is what today is about, not just this wonderful institution, but for all of you who are taking the next steps toward a new chapter of your lives. Graduates, I'm delighted to share this wonderful occasion with you and those who have supported your efforts. You've received an outstanding education from Midwestern State University, and this education will serve you well in the years and decades ahead. While each of you will cross the stage today individually, your journey has not been a solitary one. Your teachers and professors have been there all along, and your family has been there from the beginning please be sure to thank them. Remember your alma mater. MSU Texas has helped shape you and your future. Now, you will help shape MSU Texas as there's no better testament to a university than the success of its graduates. We welcome you as contributors to the MSU Texas legacy. In closing, please accept congratulations from the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System and our best wishes for your future. We want all of MSU Texas and the Wichita Falls community to know how proud we are to have this partnership and how proud we are of each of you. Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. Today is a celebration of achievement and resilience for the graduating class of 2023. With a spirit always bold, you are finally here after overcoming personal and academic obstacles, testing the boundaries of your greatness, and most of all, graduating. As your student government president, it is an honor and privilege to stand before you representing your strength and de determination to the Midwestern State University community. I wanna reflect on your journey through the lens of MSU's core values. So first, MSU is people-centered. This vibrant community comprises of our classmates who became lifelong friends, the professors who guided and mentored us, and the university, which has enriched our education in ways that extend far beyond the classroom. Next, in your pursuit of knowledge, you have shown integrity, our commitment to academic honesty, respect, and learning from our successes and failures. The integrity MSU has instilled in us will continue to shape the reputation and respect we earn in our personal and professional lives. MSU has encouraged us to be visionaries. Today, you are standing at the realization of those dreams that began when you chose to come to MSU. Today is your testament to being a visionary with big dreams, ambitious goals, and tangible success. MSU, moreover, values connections. It is a thread that weaves the fabric of our academic and personal experiences. From your late night study groups to long office hours as a graduate assistant, the connections that we forged have allowed, allowed us to grow and thrive. And I challenge you to continue these connections as not just links to the past, but bridges to a, fu filled, to a future filled with collaboration, support, and shared success. And finally, we are all members of a community, or as I prefer to say, the family that is Midwestern State University. Our community is the best thing that MSU provides to each of us, and it continues even after we graduate. It begins in orientation and continues in our classrooms with the professors who offer support in hard times or advice for our future careers. This community is the heartbeat of our experience here at Midwestern State University. So, in conclusion, as we celebrate this amazing achievement in your academic journey, 
Let's carry with us the lessons learned, the connections made, and the values embraced at MSU. Congratulations, and as always, go Mustangs. Hello, everyone. Dr. Haney, members of the MSU Texas faculty and staff, and members of the 2023 graduating class, it is an honor to stand here today as the president of the MSU Texas Alumni Association and to have the privilege to welcome each of you as the newest members of the MSU Texas Alumni Association. Welcome. I'm reminded of our, of our five core values, which have already been said once before, but I'm going to repeat those. Um, we are people-centered. We engage others with respect, empathy, and joy. We are a community. We cultivate a welcoming and belonging campus environment. We have integrity. We always do the right thing. We are visionaries. We adopt innovative ideas to pioneer new paths. And we value connections. We value relationships with broader communities. Keep these five core values close to your heart and go be great. Your MSU Texas Alumni Association and the more than 43,500 MSU Texas alumni are rooting for you and cheering you on, and we will always be there for you. We look forward to a long and beneficial relationship. Congratulations. So I've been told I have 45 minutes. No, I'm kidding. Um, when, when I was thinking about what to share with you today, I knew I had to be brief, and I hoped to say something that would challenge you, and I thought of my own experience and my own journey and maybe some lessons I've learned, and I would like to share one of the most valuable lessons I've learned teaching, and not from my experience at the university level, though there have been many instructive moments, but this particular lesson I want to share with you actually took place when I taught sophomore, high school sophomore, English, speech, and theater at Hershey High School immediately upon my graduating from MSU Texas with my undergraduate degree. And in my second year teaching at Hershey, we were about halfway through the fall semester in a sophomore English class, and I was testing the students on action verbs. Students were required to circle the action verb in the sentence. And one of the sentences on the exam was, Mary jogs every morning at 7 o'clock. Where's the action verb? Mary jogs every morning at 7 o'clock. Now, most of the students correctly circled jogs, but one student circled o'clock. So I called the student to my desk, and I, I pointed her answer out and queried her. So o'clock is the action verb. Yes, she said. You think o'clock is the action verb. She nodded again. OK, then, I said, o'clock for me. She, she looked at me incredulous. Well, I mean, you think Mary's o'clocking, and I don't know what that is, but if it's an action verb, you should be able to do it, so o'clock for me. And she looked pained as the wheels began to turn, and, and finally she responded, I, I can't o'clock. Maybe then, I answered, you shouldn't circle it as the action verb. Now, I, I think this story demonstrates several things. First, I clearly had no business teaching sophomore English, <laughs> for obvious reasons. And second, and more importantly, that sophomore English student made me start thinking about my own life. And the truth was, I was just o'clocking. I was not an action verb. I didn't really like teaching English and theater and speech, and worse, I wasn't particularly good at it. And I decided to stop o'clocking, just time passing by without real purpose, without real passion, and to make my life an action verb. And it took some time for me to determine exactly what that passion was or how to pursue it. And I knew the bachelor's education that MSU had provided me 
was a firm foundation, but I would need more, so I, I quit teaching, and I stopped o'clocking, and I went back, like you, to graduate school here at MSU and got my master's in political science, a phenomenal education, and I went on to earn a PhD and yada, yada, yada. Here we are today. Now, according to a Harvard study, 6.7% of the world's population are college degree holders. You have achieved something that the vast majority of the people on this planet have been unable to do. Many have tried, many have failed, but not you. And whether this was an easy journey for you getting to today or a very, very challenging one, you did it. But with that achievement comes responsibility. You are called to be the action verbs of tomorrow. You now have the knowledge and the skills that open up a world of possibilities for you. You are not allowed to be o'clockers. No, no, no. Midwestern, its faculty and staff have prepared you to take action, to claim all the success you can imagine, to be the action verbs in a world where so many, far too many, are just o'clocking, persisting in an inertia that can paralyze. Life is far too short for that, and the, the older I get, the more I appreciate that sentiment. You are among a very privileged group, that of college graduate, and you are to leverage that to make not just your life better, but this world a better place. I urge you to be that action verb, to find your passion, if you found it, to pursue it with all you have and to embrace the world of opportunity that awaits you. So now, I ask you to circle the action verb in the following sentence, and if you get it wrong, I'm revoking the degree. <laughs> the December 2023 class of Midwestern State University rocks. And the action verb is? Oh, come on, better than that. Yes. OK, you guys look great. I I'm sorry, I got to get a pic. This is too exciting for me. OK. Congratulations, and thank you for the privilege and honor of serving as your president. I invite Provost Brown Martson to join me at the podium to recognize the candidates for degrees. Will the candidate or will the graduates please rise? President Haney, these students have successfully completed the curriculum prescribed by the faculty for their respective degrees. It gives me pleasure on behalf of the faculty to present these candidates to you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents, I now declare that your degree will be conferred upon receipt of your diploma. You will have all the rights, honors, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto. Please accept my congratulations. Yeah. Graduates, you may be seated. It is now time for the presentation of graduates. The deans of the colleges will assist MSU Registrar, Ms. Amanda Raines, 
in extending the diplomas to the graduates, Regent Sweat will join me in congratulating you. Mr. Peter Stein will now present the candidates for degrees. Will the first row of candidates please rise and come to the platform for the awarding of their degrees. Dillard College of Business Administration for the degree of Master of Education. Aaron Thibodeau Betts. <laughs> Aliyah Shantira Barras. <laughs> Ryan Hunter Clayton. <laughs> Laramie Garrett Epler. Jocelyn Natalie Flores Alvarado. JC John Garcia. Brianne Henry. Anthony Stephen Holland. Taryn Page Holland. Valandra Jean Marie. Alex Knight Johnson. Courtney Lee Seltzer. Jennifer Frazier. Emily Flanagan. Victoria Michelle Rosas. Juliet Alyssa Roldan. Matthew Scott Roach. Ashley Marie Maisner. Yeah. Lennon Collis Matthew. Yeah. Luis Angel Madrigal. Leonard Alpheus William Lofner. Timothy Ryan Lawrence. Carlicia Alicia Lara. Austin Bailey Larson. Jack Larkin. Martin Soto. Maya Lee Warrior. Charlene Wright. Gordon T. and Allen West College of Education for the degree of Master of Arts. Ashley Marie Agnello. Renee Maxine Blackwell. Yeah. Jody Beeson Camp. Emma Janine Leah Cotton. Angela Elska McFarland Davis. Maddie Noel Langford. <laughs> Melissa Shalesky Lawrence. Robert Richard Letke. 
Ashlyn Ann Loscott. Joshua Levi Love. Kevin Emilio Segura. Jimmy Allen Sequoy. Adipal Quan Liang. Erica Sharice Kelm. Alexandra Nicole Jordan. Alicia Nicole Johnson. Alexis Loray Johnson. Lucy Sutton Hatch. Chelsea Nicole Glover. Brenda K. Gillespie. Nancy Galvez. Brittany Lene Prickett. Heather Rochelle Rigdon. Woo! Jessica Lynn Moore. Angelica Reyes Santiago. Kylie Pearl Donaldson. Leslie Ann Evans. Kylie Nicole Grisham Flores. Kristen K. Grassi. Lindsay Christine Hagler. Machine Denise Hightower. Elton Yatsagia. Jamie Michelle Trussell. Stephanie Diane Starr. Daniela, uh, pardon me, Danielle Michelle Pontecorvo. Shauna Danielle Phillips. Jennifer Carter. Candace Britt. Kelly Anna Barnett. Daniel John Babiak. Babatunde Michael Ajayi. Christina Elizabeth Washington. Amy Lee Ward. Catherine Castle Wadlow. Cynthia Danette Stonaker.
Gabriel A. LaRue. Christian Dixon Lee. Susan Elizabeth Meeks. Heather May Mossberg. Nathaniel A. Nicholas. Master of Science in Nursing, McKenna Lee Akers. Susanna Marissa Alba Padron. Chad Allen Bingham. Emily Nicole Davis. Zachary Daniel Fowler. Megan Garibay. Laura Gutierrez. Lane Moore Kidd. Sarah Elizabeth Fitch. Sophie Chan. Kenya Larissa Caravantes. Masters of Radiologic Science, Charity Leanne Brannon. Michelle N. Blunier. Chris J. Bergeron. Emily Ann Beaver. Annabelle Ramirez. Masters of Education, Sharon Marie Wilson. Jalen Wilcott. Tristan Adam Willard. Quentin Marcellus Walter. Carol Nicole Vandiver. Masters of Radiologic Science, Jacqueline Marie Mason. <laughs> Melissa Ann Main. <laughs> Vivian Otunuya Osai. <laughs> Sandra Renee Perry. Kaylin Charlene Morangian Pierce. Laura Dawn Ragland. Viviana Guadalupe Ramirez. Megan Catherine Robbins. Javian Tanessa Roberts. Tracy Cherie Rucker. Woo! 
Maurice Charles Saavedra. Donna Renee Sparrow. Masters of Science, James T. Neely. Maduri Kura Maduri Kuraguntla. Ola a Mimi Mo, Izzy Israel. Aaron Scott Hillard. Catherine Claire Felderhoff. Leslie Nicole Cook. M.D. Abubakar. Protho Yeager College of Humanities and Social Sciences for the degree of Master of Arts, Nathan Makoto Endo. Zachary Bryce Fulton. Carly Page Smith. Charmaine Walton. Janice Dawn Liebeck Justice. Maria Jacinta Juarez. Andy Wong. Demilola E. Ola. Raul Noah Orta. Bright Chisholm Oso Aguru. Vanila Jothi Sirla. Buddy Jack Andrew Smith. Karthik Baradwaj Sirya. Allison Page Warren. Joseph Francis McKimbo. The class of 2023. Graduates, let me be among the first to welcome you as a graduate of MSU Texas. Though an important period of your life has come to a close, you will carry your alma mater with you wherever you go. Never forget who you are and never 
forget where you came from. Throughout your life, take every opportunity to reach back and continue your engagement with us. Audience, Midwestern State University has supported your graduates over the last few years to deliver a world-class education and help them achieve something that is life-changing. One more time, join me to applaud and celebrate the achievement of these graduates. Our ceremony concludes with the singing of our MSU alma mater. You will find the lyrics on the back of your program. The recessional will immediately follow the alma mater. Once the recessional is complete, you may leave to join your graduates outside to continue the celebration. Please stand as you are able as Amanda Wilson leaves, leads us.